I mean, this is just stupid now. I'm done with that. So there's a really big problem with Forza Motorsport at the moment that no one's talking about, but you might have experienced it. Basically, when your tire wear is low, you end up having to do so much more wheel rotation to make it around corners. You can already see here, these aren't like super tight corners so far, but we're going to get to the hairpin, obviously. And you're going to see, look how much rotation I'm having to apply here with my arm. It's actually ridiculous. We're going to see here, this is now, again, not like a super, super, super tight corner. But look at the rotation I'm having to apply because of my um, tyre degradation level. And that doesn't make sense. That's not how it works. That's just wa wash. But look at this. It's so ridiculous. There's something wrong with the simulation in terms of how it's affecting the tyre physics and how much rotation I need to apply. Because basically, if I can apply more rotation, I, I get more grip. When effectively what I should be doing is just washing out more because the tyres fundamentally don't have that grip. Have a look here through this left-hander. I mean, this corner's not as tight as it used to be before they reprofiled it. I mean, I'm having to literally, like... And this is on 540 degrees of wheel rotation. I was doing this earlier on 900 degrees. I mean, this is just stupid now. And it's actually quite dangerous in a direct drive wheel because you don't want to be taking your hands off the wheel like that. It could genuinely break your wrist. This is a um, 16 Newton meter wheel. It's pretty powerful. And I feel a bit uncomfortable doing it to be honest. So I'm going to do another lap here. But let me go now and I'll go to qualifying and I'll show you what happens when we've got fresh tyres. And you'll see that it's just going to be a case of applying a lot less lock. You can already see that now. See, I'm just sort of teasing the car in with the steering and then counter steering, holding the steering where I want it. This is a fundamental flaw in, I think, the way Forza is simulating this. You don't get this in any other sim, and you don't get it in real life as well. So we come in here. This is a really sort of like typical medium speed corner. And you can see where my hand placement is. It's not even quite vertical. So I'm just sort of teasing it in again. Remember this corner, how tight it was? on the hand manoeuvre again I'm just sort of teasing it in and I'm using the throttle to steer and I'm counter steering on the exit same here this is always quite tight in Forza on the steering but as you can see I'm like that and then I'm able to get it through it's pretty, pretty rough laps at the moment but I really want to show you the progression because I'm not sure they'll be able to patch this out and I just don't understand why it's like this so keep an eye on my tyre wear. Oh, we're going to go wide. We'll do, we'll do the full set of um, how much fuel we have here, so you can see. Coming into this hairpin. Wait, you remember last time I had to actually take my hands off the wheel. Even now, we're starting to understeer. And that basically requires me to just do more rotation <laughs> to fix it. I mean, is it just a really basic way of simulating it? Right, let's try and do a lap here. Paolo D set the uh, bar at 137. So here we go. You can see the tyre wear on the graph. And start to see where my hand placement is going to be now. So remember this long corner and now have a look at my hand placement see it's gone over the vertical see it's well over the vertical i'm no longer just sort of turning in and counter steering this is going to be just really painful i'm not looking forward to this corner because i'm I feel like i'm going to put my elbow out or something Again, look how much lock I'm applying now through those corners. This is a classic medium speed corner. Applying a lot of lock and I'm just dreading this left-handed hairpin now because, oh my goodness. Look at the lock I'm having to apply, I need to do more. So either you lift off 
and you wait for the card to rotate, or you just apply more lock. So the fastest way is to apply more lock, but it's really painful to do. Right, let's see what we can do here. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at the lock I'm having to apply now. Remember this medium speed corner? Now, now look. What is this? And my tyres aren't even like red. I mean, look now. Oh my goodness. I may as well, I'm going to have to go like this. And then it's super dangerous on the exit. It's just, it's gen I mean, I've got about half my tyre wear left on my tyres. We're going to go into this hairpin where it's been really bad all race and now we're, we're going to see. Ready? Look. So what I'm going to show you now is side by side between that last lap and the first lap so you can see. It goes without saying, look down at the comments now and if anyone's got any ideas then let me know. But there's just a number of issues I have with Forza on PC that I don't know if PC centric issues, but even straight up stuff like the replays just don't work, haven't worked till launch. I can't save my replays, I can't watch any replays, um, I can't change my tyres in the intermission screen before a race. So that means I have to finish qualifying early and then make sure my tyres are changed in qualifying because I won't be able to change them in the race. And then we have very weird force feedback in Forza. Now my Logitech generally seems to be better than the Moza. I'm very interested to see people's experience on uh, Fanatec and the Thrustmaster as well. But the way they present the settings like pneumatic trail, mechanical scale, is I think a really lazy way of doing it. Um, there should be some presets like just, you know, they should amalgamate those settings so you can just have strong, weak, mid force feedback because it might be a combination of settings that's doing this, it might not. Either which way, it's actually just dangerous that people are going to need to take their hands off a direct drive wheel if they're using something like a 20 Nm wheel. And Forza's force feedback is, for people who are playing the uh, game, their way of actually interacting with the driving. So it's a really important part that I don't think Forza have given enough care and attention to. But I just want to show you here on screen, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see me follow up this video because Forza Force Feedback, what is going on?